So there's some price from Wall Center, a presentation of the Applewood Auto Group, and I've dropped into this podcast, Blake, mm-hmm. with you and Jeff, because right. S versus P, you need an S. Yeah. It's that simple. So we're going to have at it here. Uh, first, a review of the records. You're 4-1-1 one, and one this season. Finally on the board here after draft week. Today's question, should the Canucks keep or trade Tyler Myers by opening night? I will be arguing on behalf of keep. Blake will be arguing on behalf of trade. Mediator Grady Sass presiding here. Two minutes each per argument. And those of you who are consuming this on Twitter and YouTube, we ask that you vote according to who made the better argument. Not your own opinion or any preconceived notions heading into this Got debate, it. you yep. are the jury box and clear conscience jurors. So, who's going first here? Uh, I was in the losing position, so uh, um, losers out. I will, uh, I will go first because okay. I want to go first more than listen to you first. So, <clears throat> okay, Blake, your two minutes starts now. Tyler Myers is an NHL defenseman. If I was the Canucks, I would have no problem with having him on the blue line for this season, but not at this price. That's the issue. If the Canucks can somehow find a way to turn the $6 million in cap hit into some cap relief and then a $3 million defenseman, absolutely you do that. And maybe those are two separate transactions. Maybe it's one. Regardless, there is a need to do this. The Canucks are over the cap right now and are in the unenviable position of almost hoping for long-term injury to bail them out. Keep in mind that that overage I talked about that takes into account the injuries to Tanner Pearson and Tucker Pullman already. So they need more on top of that. And as we've already found out, trading out anybody else on the roster to get this cap space has proven difficult. All the wingers, they've been dangled already. Across the National Hockey League, no takers. Myers, as a budget-minded defenseman in September with a high cap, it could prove valuable to a number of teams. He could prove useful to a good team with cap space as well. Again, he's totally fine, especially as a third-pair defenseman. His only issue is the cap it. But, heck, the New York Rangers could fit him in. The prayers for Myers to have a great season and then trade him for a magnificent bounty at the deadline is a dangerous game to play. Bad season, no value at the trade deadline. Injured, no trade possible. Great season, and the Canucks are in a playoff position, no chance they trade away a right-side contributing player when they have a playoff spot staring at them in the face. Too many variables at play. A bird in hand, way better than two in the bush. So you make the trade now, or at least in September. Find his replacement via free agency or trade, and get your house in order. Time to spare. Thank you, Blake. Five seconds. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Matt. I must say, when you go second, you are provided some material here in rebuttal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It would have to be factual material rather than well, just name-calling. Well, in name this calling, case, uh, I, I have yeah. a lot to uh, fact-check you on. Oh, oh mm-hmm. I'm sure. I'm sure your truth is the real truth. Grady, I'm taking the headset off lest you try and get in my ear and screw up my rhythm here in argument. All right? All right. The post-truth era begins... In five. I, I honestly, that is. Uh, I don't think I. You, he's I need to screw up, screw up your rhythm. I think you screw up your own rhythm enough. So you're just creating enemies here on this version of SVP. All right, have at it. Okay, let me know, Grady. Yeah, your two minutes starts. The winner now. gets this four pack of Yellow Dog High Fives. Incidentally, they we've wish. Put some, we've put some stakes. They wish. To S versus P. All right, I'm resetting because you're not following my orders. Your two minutes. I have my headset off starts now Blake talked about getting cap relief for Tyler Tyler Myers I mean in this cap tight environment you got to be kidding me teams with space know what the Canucks are selling they know the predicaments they're in Blake name checks the New York Rangers they have Adam Fox Jacob Trouba Braden Schneider down the right side in what world are they a Tyler Myers suitor my god you can't trade them between now and September 15th because that five million dollar 
bonus. So right now he's a liability. You'll get no return. You may have to pay to get him off your books. It's hard to trade him after that bonus because teams are in training camp. They fall in love with their players. They have some difficult waiver decisions to make. Most teams are at full health at that point. Their cap guys are trying to get it right to the limit there and maximize their LTIR. So it's a very difficult time to move a $6 million salary, even if some of the cash in hand is paid. But most of all, if you're trading him in September, you have to replace him. What are you replacing him with? Players from your own organization, they have not proved as good. Other organizational guys, okay, they're dropping in without a full training camp, without a full summer under Canucks' eyes. The Canucks are trying to be a playoff team next season. And with free agent additions, Myers is finally now appropriately slotted on that third pair. If you need to trade him, his value will be much higher at the deadline, provided he's healthy. I'll concede that when the cap cost isn't as crippling for an acquiring club. And let's remember, Myers was pretty good two seasons ago when he played more within his limits and started transitioning into that defensive defenseman. I'm all for a Tyler Myers trade at the appropriate time to recoup some value on this asset. But this summer and training camp is not the appropriate time. And there you have it. I'm comfortable with that. All right. So now we ask you to vote either on the Twitter side or if you're watching this on YouTube, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to secure some price on YouTube. Good luck, Blake. Hey, good luck to you. Thank you. You need it. It's happy hour on Sakaris and Price. Today's beer of the day from Yellow Dog, the High Five Hazy IPA.